Hey guys, Shamrock here, and I'm going to do a follow-up video on Kremlin's tutorial on how to make a batch file that runs programs in a menu-like format. So, anyways, Kremlin made four other batch files that would run the program when he picked a number. I condensed it into one, and I'm going to show you how. I'm also going to go over the set command and the start command. Clem Kremlin already went over the at echo off and the clear. CLS and he told you what those do and he also made a title I'm lazy I'm not, I don't put titles I probably should but anyways first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write some echo so it says welcome to practice because that's what I named the file please select your program Firefox is 1 Minecraft is 2 and then I'm using the set command the set command is used for setting variables in a DOS file, batch file, whatever you want to call it, and I also put in this switch, which is the P switch. What the P switch does is, when it encounters the P, it says, okay, I'm going to need to accept user input. So if I were to run this, it's going to echo everything I said, and then you see right here it says 1, 2. Well, right here, after the P switch, I do the variable name equals then 1-2 colon and that says this is what it's going to display for you and you're going to put in it whatever's behind the colon so it makes it a lot easier to do your menus with the set switch because then you can just do a bunch of if statements so what's happening now is, is I'm going to tell it 1 or 2 and I'm just going to hit enter 1 so Firefox is 1 and Firefox loads yay Firefox so now I'm going to exit. Whoopsies. That didn't work. But anyways. So what it did was it accepted user input for program selection. I always use underscores in front of mine because if you don't, it might think it's a DOS file shortcut, such as percent %user, which automatically inputs the user that's logged on, their name, into it so I couldn't use that because it's already taken basically but if you do underscore I can put in underscore user and it'd be different because of the underscore so when I do that it says if percent, unders percent underscore sel program selection is equal to one go to Firefox you have to use two equal signs otherwise it won't work if you only use one bad things happen but what when it finds an if it says if you know whatever happens and it says this equal to one so it checks if this is if the variable is equal to one so you set the variable here and then here it'll check what you set it to if it's equal to one it's going to go to firefox now i use these little things here colon firefox as a little shortcut inside the dos file so when i type in go to firefox it's going to scroll through the dos file until it finds colon firefox then it's going to run whatever's here until it hits the end. I've set this up in a loop so it won't really end. So what happens now is it hits Firefox because it skips over this because we told it to go to there and it runs start and then it does all this code right here. This code really simple once you look at it. The double quotes here are title. I'm lazy didn't put one in but if you don't put a title um, other bad things can occur so I just put empty quotes you know double do it real quick so after that you're gonna put slash D and you're gonna, the D switch does is it allows you to instead of you doing CD all over and over and over until you get to the right pathway or just wants to get to the pathway it just CDs there by itself automatically and then Firefox at exe obvious there Firefox in the menu and after it does that it's going to go to menu 1 menu 1 is way back up here and what does menu 1 do? oh look at that menu 1 is exactly what we saw so when you actually run this and you show here this is what you see in menu 1 and then when you type in 1 or 2 do 2 for instance okay I won't do 2 but if I do 1 then this comes up and you can see it flash for a second that was the 
like CLS occurring. Because for menu 1, I put CLS echo. If you don't put the CLS, which I'll show you now, this happens. Close that, I have to start it again. So, I remember I did not put the CLO, I hit 1, boom, it displays it again. Well, I didn't like that, so I had to add in that clear. So I'm going to put the clear back, CLS, and now, that's pretty much it, actually. So, I'll go over the commands again. Set allows you to put a variable, the slash p accepts user input, then name of the variable equal to whatever you want it to display, colon, so that people can type. Then you can do a bunch of these ifs, and that makes a menu, a really simplified one too, because you can just echo up there. So instead of having four or five batch files to run programs, you just have one that is slightly longer, but you don't have to have like six batch files in the folder to go to. So that's it. Um, I'll go in more in depth with batch files on another video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I'll probably do some more and later on I'll show you this pet project I have called MindSave. It is a DOS file and it's not that long but I'm gonna make it longer add some functionality and it is used to manage your Minecraft saves because you know you don't wanna have to restart your world every time you go to a new computer so thanks for watching have a great comment subscribe you know come back